Colton. She's live in Comac right now. Erin, what is it like? Good morning, girls. It's actually less snow than we expected to wake up to when we looked outside of our hotel window, but the wind is just so gusty at times, it takes your breath away. We're on Comac Road along the LIE service road here in Comac. The LIE, of course, still shut down right now, but if you see behind me, you can see um, that we are just about at a foot here at Comac, maybe a little bit less. You can see over here uh, that this is obviously a drift or a plow has been through, but there's a good substantial amount of snow here. Um, again, just under a foot, I would say, in Comac. Ramon, the plow driver, has been hanging out with me early on. He's been plowing this shell station here on Comac Road. What's it been like out on the roads for you? Right, you kind of can't see nothing. The visibility is wild with the wind. You can't see nothing at all. Nothing. Well, it seems like the, the, the gusts and the visibility is worse, but what about those snow totals? Are you seeing that uh, that that's a lot of snow we expected? No, not, mu not as much as they said. You know, I, they said about four inch, four feet, three feet, and right. a half. No, I think it's about at least two feet around that, so. What about the driving conditions? Of course, you're a contracted plow driver. Uh, you know, someone's paying you to come do it, but the plow drivers out there for the, for the town, how are they doing out there? They're pretty good. They, they are, they're keeping the roads nice and clean around here. In fact, live here along uh, the LIE service road, you're seeing some town plows uh, come by now here, and you can see just uh, they are getting a lot of snow off the roads. It's, the roads are passable, and coming behind are some cars, so they're just traveling behind the plow, and you can see that their cars are on the road, and that roads are passable, not that you should be on the road right now. should not be on the road. It's, it, 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 there should be no cars on the road. At least get the plow to clean the roads so everybody could go home safe, you know? Have you seen a lot less people? Like, compare this to the blizzard two years ago. Have you seen a lot less people on the roads this yeah, time? Less less people. I, I don't see hardly nobody around, right. you know? So, I, yeah, I think it was a good thing. And then has, has that helped you tremendously trying to get around? Yes, it has. All right, Ramon, stay safe, buddy. Give me a you high too. five. All right, you too. Okay, Ramon's going to get going. He's going to finish up this shell station. He has another, another couple of stations to do. But if you look across, just see all the piles from that plow that he picked up that you see he is swiping away just about under a foot here in Comac. Uh, along Comac Road and the LIE service road. But as he said, the plows have been out at least in our area. We have seen a substantial amount of snow being already taken off the roads. And I think that has a lot to do with the travel ban beginning last night. Uh, taking people off the roads, letting the plows doing what they can, um, and, and that's a situation. So a little bit less snow than we expected, but again, the visibility is just terrible. Whiteout conditions, and boy, those gusts of wind, again, just take your breath away. We are live in Comac this morning. Coverage of Blizzard 2015. Aaron Colton, News 12 Long Island. Carol, Elizabeth. Aaron, I have to say, I have not seen you in your full, heaviest News 12 coat this entire winter so far. Folks, that is... First time, per yeah. Yeah, that's perhaps our greatest weather barometer, which we're looking at right there. Absolutely right. Thanks, Aaron. Get warm.